Good day guys, it's uh, Friday, it's uh, supposedly winter out there, even though it's 18 degrees, and it's time for the Beer O'Clock Review. So uh, tonight, we've got a new brand on board, first time ever. Uh, we're going to be talking about Marmot sleeping bags we've got in. So, because Marmot's an American company, we went out and found an American beer to go with it. So this is the Almanac Brewing Company out of San Francisco. And we've got the Golden Gate Goss. Not quite sure what the Goss means, but what we've got here is a um, really nice wheat beer, quite fruity. Now, they, I didn't know anything about these guys until about half an hour ago. I searched them out, found the beer down at the beer library, and there's a boutique little company brewery in San Francisco, and they only use ingredients from local farmers. So I quite like it actually, it's a small family business, not unlike our own, so yeah. That's the Almanac Brewing Company, and this is the Golden Gate Goss. And uh, this is the wheat beer, and it's tasty. Dan, what do you think of it? Yeah, enjoying it. You've been enjoying it, have you? Spicy. Right, excellent. <laughs> right, there's only two of us tonight, so we're down a camera cameraman. So we're gonna do a bit of a swap scene. Dan's gonna talk about the bags. So, any second now, we're gonna do a bit of a swap over. Right, okay. All right, so in the marmot range that we're doing now, we've got three new bags in. And two of the bags are shoulder season bags, and one is definitely a winter season you bag. You better explain what shoulder season means yeah, to... so three seasons, all right. right. This one is definitely, it carries you into winter. Right. These are neg, both neg nine, and this is neg 18, all right. Um, so I'll go over some of the cool features about them. The, all, th all three of the bags have what I think is a pretty cool design on the zip. So typical zipper, except for you've got this, this big plastic protector on it. So basically, everyone knows the problem of you zipping up your bag and it always gets stuck. Now this, I've, I've been playing with it, and it does a pretty good job. <laughs> uh, they, you know, like a typical bag, it's got that extra zip protection in there still. A little bit of stiffener, just to try and keep that from becoming a problem. But I've yet to see one that completely solves the problem. But so far, I haven't jammed it. So that's pretty cool. So which model is that? Cool design. This is the helium. So what weight is that? Right. So we're like at a kilo, and you know. While these two bags are same temperature, there's a good bit of tech difference between the two. Um, this is 800 fill down, and this is 650 fill, and so is the Neverwinter 650. So what that means is this could be a lot lighter bag. I think you meant Never Summer, but don't worry about that. No, no, it's Never Winter. That is, yeah, sorry, Never Summer. <laughs> yeah, Winter bag for Never Summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've got helium, and then uh, we've got the uh, sawtooth. And like I said, same temperature, but this has just got tech. Okay, so, right. So, uh, Pertex, Quantum Pertex, uh, outer, and then 800 fill down on the inner, so which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got inside here, you've got a draft collar. No, I say that. This one doesn't. But what's cool about it is it's got this extra zip on the other side. So that because it is a, a an all sea or a three season bag, you can be using it in the summertime. You can open that up, let it come down when it's when it's hot, which is a pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Feature. First time we've seen that seen that on a bag. It doesn't have the zip protector on that side. And That's then okay. of course you've got a, uh, the hood. Tighten that down. All three bags have the EN ratings, so it gives you what's comfortable for a male. And a, and a female sleeping range. Right. So if you're a cold person, you know what to do about that, or if you're a hot person, you can go a bit lighter. Right, yeah. Right, so that's the helium. And then we've got the sawtooth. So uh, nylon bag. Yep. Same that has that zipper on there. Also, this one has the, the draft exclusion collar on it, which is cool. And a hood. Like I said, this is 650 down, and then it also is uh, available in a short and a long. So if you're is that, is that regular and long or short or long? Regular and long. Regular and long, yeah. right? If you're a tall person, you can get your bag, and you know. Excellent. And then, then this is what I call a true winter bag. Yeah, this is. You can see, nice heavy duty bag. Um, 
And of course, they've all got a foot box to it, so you've got plenty of space in there. And then in here, again, you've got your comfort ratings. And that's 650 down, nice big collar to that. So you can get all snuggled up inside there and the hood. And then um, the other cool thing about these bags is they all have down defender, which basically means they've coated the down with a hydrophobic coating, which basically means um, when you get up against the side of the tent and your bag gets a bit wet, it, it helps keep the down from actually absorbing and soaking up that water. Um, so what it means is if it does, get, it's harder to get wet, but it also dries faster, which is pretty cool. cool. Now, is that bag available in length as well? Is that a one, one? Yeah, so this is available in regular and long as well. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> So that, that bag is now is perfect now for winter ski touring yeah. or mountaineering and the other two the other two bags we looked at they're perfect for spring mountaineering here in NZ. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So again, regular and long available on that. So that's the um, that's the what is this? The never summer. I keep wanting to call it the never winter because it's a winter <laughs> bag, but it's never summer. Sawtooth and the helium. All right. There we go. That's a wrap up. Cheers.